What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny, and as we all know, fashion is all about expressing your ideas and your perspectives. You're expressing yourself, and that is why people enjoy freshening up for going to Soho or going to the mall. Well, that is if you are expressing yourself and not control C, control V, copy pasting another person's outfit. You know, like in Gen Chem 1, I definitely copied off a lot of people's homeworks. And guess what, man? I failed the test. Not saying you'd fail at life by copying another person's outfit, but... You are not expressing who you are as a person. So today I'm gonna tell you guys the top three places to shop and some of my personal favorites in order to stand out and not look like everyone else. So the first place to shop is what has always been there from the very beginning, physical fashion stores. Now of course the best part about in-person shops is you can actually try on the pieces for yourself. Maybe get some sparkling or still. And it is actually more fun because you can actually compose an outfit right there on the spot with physical items. My favorite stores nowadays are Bloomingdale's, Kith, and All Saints if you wanna spend a little more money. Bloomingdale's will have almost every brand in their store. It can be quite pricey, but they also have cheaper items as well. So if you're ever in Soho, New York, I definitely recommend stopping by at Bloomingdale's. Now with Kith, their tees are fire. Simple, not so harsh with the branding, and the vibes of the store are dope. All Saints has great customer service. It's very out there and very simple as well, and the quality is on point. I've had this hoodie from them for over a year, washed a ton of times, and it still feels like it's new and hasn't shrank at all. Now if you want to budget it down, which is more my lane, then stores like Urban Outfitter and Uniqlo are a great place to pick up some pieces. Uniqlo for them basics, great quality for the price. Their graphic tees are pleasing and they do a ton of collaborations like with Cause and Peanuts. Definitely recommend Uniqlo No Show Socks too. They've got you covered with pretty much any item whether you're a street fashion fella or a dapper one. Urban Outfitters will have more brand names like Champion, Adidas, and many more. They too will have a great selection of graphic tees and basics. You can't go wrong with any of these stores. Next up, we got online shopping. Yes, with modern day technology and Facebook getting rich with Facebook ads, online stores can target you and send a bunch of ads your way. Hey, they can be annoying, but I have bought some pieces off of Facebook and Instagram ads. E-commerce is exploding, and with Shopify taking over the platform, a lot of pop-up starters have created or drop shipped some pretty dope items. And also popular name brands are now fully immersed in this e-commerce online shopping experience. So follow your favorite stores on Instagram because most stores will offer some discount codes or have some flash sales that you can take advantage of. And the greatest thing about online shopping is you can take advantage of the fact that you can use coupon codes. That is why I do most of my shopping online because you can't use a discount code in person at a physical store. I've purchased Boost sneakers for $55 before on the Adidas website using apps like Honey. Not sponsored, but if y'all wanna sponsor me or hit me up for anything, at gmail.com or just a simple Google search will get you some discount codes that you can't use in person. But the thing is, unfortunately, is you can't try it on. So it's all kind of a guessing game, but most of these sites offer a sizing chart. But if you're still confused about the sizing, I typically send them a DM or an email. And most companies have great customer service and they'll get back to you right away for better sizing recommendations. This doesn't only limit yourself to brand name stores. I'm also talking about YouTuber merch or clothing brands. So I'm big on supporting YouTubers I like, Jose's Essentials, Frugal Aesthetics Respect Women Capsules, and the Richie Lee collection. It helps the influencers that created those brands and you're gonna get a bit of exclusivity. Now, to really give your style some individuality, you have your local shops. Cause we've all had this happen to you at school and all that. You see another guy with the same shirt as you and you're like, bruh, you really had to wear that today? More than likely, you're not gonna get that with copying pieces from a local shop. So this ranges from a ton of places. I've actually found some dope pieces and hoodies from a Chicago airport before because those pieces will represent that city. And coffee shops here in New Mexico have some pretty fresh teas and gift shops in your local area are great as well. Just because it ain't brand name does not mean it's not stylish. Don't be that guy. So my girl and I went to Meow Wolf recently and it is a museum started by over 400 independent artists and man they really put together an awesome attraction but because of their creativity I knew they were gonna sell some awesome merch I copped this long sleeve tee from there no other place sells a shirt like this and it is designed so well I love this shirt they also got stickers and other merch there too I just slapped my sticker onto my water bottle and now that water bottle is exclusive to me so keep an eye out on those local shop fellas but also there are shops I've never expected to find any cool pieces in you guys ask me all the time where I get this necklace from. I got it at White Sands, New Mexico, three hours away from me in the middle of nowhere. And let me tell you, their accessory game was on point. I purchased these bracelets and the necklace you guys ask me all the time about. Again, no other shops will sell these exact items. Always keep an eye out for these gift shops. You're gonna find some great accessories. You're gonna find some great merch. And it is definitely something you guys are missing out on. And that is it, fellas. Those are my favorite places to shop. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys made it this far, comment hashtag noanimosity2019. It's this movement I've really been on. You know, no animosity means no hate. Because if you guys have seen my videos last year, man, I was a really negative person. And honestly, I really think that held me back from so much potential. But ever since moving out, having a great summer and all that, 
Life has been great for me. Now, I still stand by these videos and I'm still gonna keep it real with you. There's a ton of negativity and hate out there and it is unnecessary to put more of that energy out there. And ever since having this mindset, my life has changed completely. And I want the same for you, so comment that down below. And until then, stay fly and I'm out, bruh. Peace.